animated icons. Now I know that everyone loves them but the problem is that not many of us actually think about using them or even if we do, we can't really find the right website which can provide us with these icons, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you guys a website which will indeed provide you with these mind-blowing animated icons which are totally customizable, come in 12 different formats and one of the most important features, it provides 290 icons for free. So without any further ado, let's get started with the video. My name is Samian Savant. Welcome to the channel. Okay, so the name of the website is lordicon.com. The link to the website is in the description. You can go right there. Now, once we land on this home page, what it shows us is the content that the website provides, like the 290 free icons, then the number of premium icons, the available formats in which you can download the icons, the types of icons and the animation triggers. Now, what animation triggers are is a concept which I'm going to explain in a few minutes. After that, you have all kinds of integrations where all you can integrate these icons. Then a few examples of how the icons will look when implemented. Next is the trust of the millions of users and then finally the packages. So let's go ahead. Now, first thing that you have to do is sign up. Why is this important? I'll explain it to you after a few minutes. But remember first sign up. Okay, so go ahead with Google. I'm just going to go ahead with Google. Okay. Once you sign up, it will show up your ID here. Next, what we are going to do is simply browse the icons. Now, once you click on this, you land on a page where all kinds of icons are given, all the free icons and the premium icons. So how you start navigating is you go to the left side here. They have written all, which is the combination of free plus premium. So first of all, let's go with the free icons. I know everyone's here for that main part. After that, we'll go to the premium icons. Now there are a total of 290 and they are distributed in these categories. So all of the 290 icons are distributed here. Let's pick any icon. Let's go to, let's say, uh, people. Okay. We want these icons of people on the website. So what we'll do is let's pick this one first. Walk. Now, once you click on an icon, it will show you how the icon actually looks in light mode as well as dark mode okay now as i said the icons are fully customizable right so let's go ahead with the customization once you click on the icon here a basic customization is given the colors and the stroke okay so let's change the color to let's say red we want red on our website let's go with with a little darker shade okay and if you want let's say any custom color you can put the code here and you can go right ahead and if you click on this plus it will add it to your favorite so simply select the color hit on apply it will get applied to this icon. You can also change this black color to something else like white or any other color. But for now, we are going to go ahead with the black one. Simply hit apply. You can also change the stroke. Okay, but we are going to keep it 50 as it was. Now, this wasn't the customization at its full power. Let's go to the full editor. Now, the full editor gives you more options in customization of the icon. As you can see here, see edit. Now, we edited the colors, right? Here, we can also change the width of the stroke, which we already did. The scale, which means you can zoom in the icon. Okay, see, as I go on increasing, it goes on zooming in. We'll keep it at 50 only for now. Okay, next is X axis. X axis means we can change the position of the icon horizontally to the left or to the right. Okay, whatever you want. And Y axis, obviously, vertically, below or above. Okay, so you can do whatever changes you want with the icon. Next is the trigger. Now, what trigger means? As I said, I'm going to explain you animation triggers, right? So let's go ahead with that part. So for that, we'll have to go to the home page. Okay, so here they had explained. Now, what kinds of triggers they have given? Hover, loop, loop on hover and morph. Okay. So let's go to the home page here. First of all, hover. What hover means that once you hover over the icon, the animation plays from the first to the last frame. And after hovering one more time, the action repeats itself. What it means that once I hover, see what happens. It will go from the first to last frame. Simply that much. Loop means it will keep on looping infinitely. Whether you hover or not, it's not its concern. It will go on looping. Okay. Next is morph. What morph does is that once you hover over the icon, it will go from its first frame to last frame. See, I hovered. It went from first frame to the sixth frame. Now, if I take the cursor off the icon, 
it will go in a reverse order which means last to first it will go to its original state see it went from 6 to 1 that's morph now what morph two ways means is that once you hover it will go from 1 to 6 and then 6 to 1 while you are hovering see so it goes it loops itself just once okay from first to last frame and last to first that's what morph two ways means so going back to the editing part here first of all it's looping right next we go to hover okay when we hover over it it will play okay next is loop on hover which means that once i hover over it it will go on looping if i take it off it will stop okay next is morph as i said once we hover it will go from start to end and then will return that see it's going back it was on the last frame right see let it go on the first frame i hover it will go to the last frame and it will stop and if i remove it it will go back now that's more okay so those were the animation triggers now that we are done with animation triggers i'm going to show you the preview mode what preview mode is on the first page we saw light mode and dark mode but it also shows you a preview of how the icon will look in implementation once you integrate it in your website okay so this is once you click once you click on the icon it will start walking this is looping but with a delay it stops and after a few delays it will go ahead right next is again once you click on this it will start here also if you hover over it here if you hover over it so that's how your icon looks in preview on implementation right it also has another option as an icon or as an illustration so if you want to show the icon as an illustration on your website this is how it will look so that was for the preview you can also view it in dark mode see okay so that was all the customization that you can do for your icons now the next part which i'm going to show you is collection now what collection is remember when i said you to sign up before you go to the website now here's when collection comes in now what happens is that with a free account you can create a collection of icons so let's go back to icons now let's go to let's say people only will go with okay or let's go with uh, computer hardware all right simple let's say i want to take in all these computer hardware icons on my website see micro usb micro sd card computer mouse and all that stuff so let's say i want to take this card i will set the color to let's say red okay and i'll hit apply and simply add it to a collection let's name the collection hardware simple hit ok i want a few more icons let's say i want a computer also obviously just simply add it to the collection no need to change the color okay i need bluetooth add to collection hardware and i need let's say speakers i'll add it to my collection hardware done now we have added four icons to the collection right now just hover over this and go to collection on your account right now once you go to collection what happens is that the color that we applied to one icon will get applied to all the icons so there's no need for you to select every icon and change the color once you add them to collection the same color will get applied to all your icons and you can use all of those icons for your website so the theme is maintained so that was it for the collection guys now i'm going to show you how to download the icons first let's go with a single icon download so i'll go with bluetooth all right so we'll open bluetooth for now once you open bluetooth see this download section there are various formats as i said so first let's go with the basic formats go to more option see gif mp4 webp png svg and static png all right here probably mp4 and gif will be animated all others will be static next is json lottie you will get that and embed html which means that you can copy this html text and embed this icon in your website okay simply copy the html code now after all this there's also source file source files means it is the basic non-animated uh, sorry not non-animated the colors won't be applied the colors will be the default colors that the website provides so these are the rough files okay you can edit them later so those are the options that you get while downloading the icon i'll show you an example i'll simply download an mp4 let's say of 1024 pixels okay simply hit download it will take its time and download the mp4 see the mp4 has been downloaded if i open the file see the mp4 is playing i'll just play it on loop see 
so that's how you can download it simple now i'm going to show you how you can download the whole collection now with collection what happens is that it will not only give you a single format it will download the whole file in various formats so once you hit on download on a particular collection what happens is that it will download a zip file that zip file is going to contain five different formats of every single icon so i have four icons here right so every icon will have five different formats i have already downloaded a few so let's open this see for the bluetooth icon there are five different formats the aep eps json svg and the rough json same goes for all of the icons so that's how you can download the various formats either for a collection or for a single icon now we have almost seen how the whole website works but still two of the most important things remain guys first of all how to use the icons for free so we'll have to go to help for them here in help they have shown you go to licenses okay and here free license breakdown now if you want to use the icons for free the do's and don'ts are given here do's you you've got all the stuff that you can do with the icons right you can use them in commercial personal projects and all that stuff but the don'ts it is compulsory for you guys to provide the link to the lord icon website wherever you are using the lord icon assets okay wherever you are using the free icons it is compulsory for you to provide the link don't forget to do that and obviously don't resell rent lend assign whatever all right don't do that stuff it's their property so let it be like that so that's all you have to do that's the license breakdown you can also read all of this documentation guys okay now let's see the final part of this video which is the pricing the packages that you get now there are two packages that you'll get yearly and monthly now for yearly you'll get 50 percent discount because if you go with bill monthly you'll have to pay 16 dollars a month but if you go with yearly you'll have to pay only eight dollars a month which i think is a great price all right so these are the benefits that you get with the packages you can cancel anytime whatever you want and 10 percent of the profits go to charity so that's a cool thing about this website so yeah that's it for the video guys that was lord icon website now if you find this website useful Make sure that you like the video, it really helps me with the algorithm. Share this video with your friends so that they can also use this awesome website and integrate all kinds of cool icons on their websites and stuff. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, how to tech videos, tech reviews, gaming, coding, blogging, is all that goes on on this channel. So if that's your vibe, hit that subscribe button. And finally, don't forget to follow me on all the social media handles, Instagram, Twitter, Spotify, GitHub, all of that stuff. All the links are given down in the description. So ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching the video. Bye-bye. Thank you.